While Florida Governor Ron DeSantis wants college football teams to play in his state, a state that is wrestling with COVID-19 community spread, and while Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves thinks having 18, 19, 20, and 21-year-olds playing college football is essential, some adults in the sports world are planning ahead. Mississippi also has COVID-19 containment issues. The people who are running the Birmingham, England 2022 Commonwealth Games are not going to have an athlete's village. The organizers are not sure COVID-19 will be contained by that time and want to limit athletes and staff exposure to COVID-19. The Commonwealth Games is one of the world's biggest athletic competitions and is scheduled to begin on July 28, 2022. Major League Baseball, which has sidelined teams this year because of COVID-19 outbreaks, is looking at 2023 as the possible end to the COVID-19 pandemic. There may not be a 20-nation U.S. Territory World Baseball Classic Tournament until 2023. It appears the 2021 version of the baseball tournament that is held in February and March every four years will be canceled. Health seems to matter to some sports world people. Tate Reeves has a degree in economics and was a banker prior to becoming a politician. He is no expert in infectious diseases. Ron DeSantis is a lawyer by trade. But Reeves thinks college football players could get COVID-19 anywhere. Both Reeves and DeSantis are intelligent people. They should probably go back 101 years and read about that year's hockey Stanley Cup final and why there was no winner. One player, Joe Hall, died of influenza while playing during the 1918-19 flu pandemic. Playoff games were canceled. Reeves' view is college football is important to Mississippi's economy and that trumps the health of teenagers who happen to play college football without pay. Reeves wants college football to be played. I'm Evan Weiner.